how to use Trello boards for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Trello as a beginner. So I'm gonna break it down step-by-step step from workspaces, different boards, and how you can categorize your boards. So let's get into it. Now on Trello, you can build multiple different workspaces. In your workspace, you can name your workspace. Let's say I name my workspace Mira and the short name I'm using is also going to be Mira and I'm just going to leave the description empty and I'm just going to be using this name for our workspace. Now this is my personal workspace. If I want I can go on ahead and build a segregated workspace for maybe you know my work or if I want to build something different for a different business I can do that as well. Now within our workspace we will have multiple different boards. So you guys can see I have a new hire process board already, but I'm going to show you guys how you can get started with your own. Now, Trello does actually provide you with a few different templates now with different categories and niches. Now, Trello used to not have any templates, but providing these templates can be super helpful for people to get started with. So they have a bunch of different templates that can help you in getting started. Let's say we have something in marketing and maybe we want a marketing content catalog so i can just click on this and this will show me some of the basics of the template and i can click on use this template i can retitle this and then i can just click on create board and this will create the exact board and then i can remove the content within this and then customize this to make it my own blog posts gated assets webinars case studies how this template works you know export and sync and more now i'm going to show you guys a more beginner friendly template that is easier for most people to understand because a lot of times these are going to be a bit complicated when you're getting started and removing and importing your own data can seem like a lot of work so we're going to get started from scratch and you guys can follow along now first off click on create on the top and click on create board this will be an empty board so we're just going to choose a simple plain background i'm going to go with the purple background and then i'm going to title my board this is going to be our project launch and project launches i'm really making a very generalized board you can make it very specific to your individual niche so if you're working in marketing if you're working on an actual project if you're constructing something if you are launching a new campaign this is applicable to all of those so i'm just going to click on create over here and this will create an empty board now once you have created an empty board you can expand it on the left and you will see all of your current boards then you will have your workspace views and then you will have your workspace settings members and your board now from here you're going to build different lists so first off i want to create info about the project like this now from here i can enter different cards our cards can be potential tasks or things that need to be done however info about the project can just be for a couple of cards where i provide project info project locations and then maybe we also have that's it so i'll just leave it at that let's say the second item would be ideas like this then the third would be in progress like this and then the fourth would be something like let's say we have improvements or redo slash improve and then we might have a final list called completed now let's say for example this project could be something like a store launch so i can enter the description i can also go on ahead and enter members members could be representatives that are assigned a particular task i can also add labels as well as checklists within this now i don't need to add that in the project info i just probably want to attach images or files to provide detail about the project but let's say instead of ideas i'll build a tasks section so let's say we have a task called um visuals for the street 22 branch or product arrangements like this now after that i can provide descriptions or subtasks within this so let's say i want to build a checklist and i'm going to title this as subtasks 
and then our first item would be find or build 10 arrangements get managerial approval get ceo approval and then the final task would be display on 6th of feb like this so now this is although it's like one task it has multiple different subtasks within and then as a person completes this they can just check out a certain item and it can show you like a progress bar now the best part about this is that this can help you in setting up members and then i can set up a due date so it's on 6 feb and i'm just going to set it on 6 feb and click on save over here and then we can label these as well now labels can help you in further categorizing items based upon the specific category of your business or of your life that they are in so because this is for our business for a retail business let's say i have multiple different labels that can dedicate whether or not a task is urgent or not so let's say first off i want to build a label called regular task then on the yellow one i might want to say priority and then i have something called urgent like this now these three colors uh, of labels can depict what kind of stage a task is on so regular task save that i'm going to add priority and then we're going to add urgent and not only that but you can actually create new labels and those labels can help you in setting up different categories or niches it is in so let's say a task is related to marketing so you can build a label so everything that's under marketing is targeted in pink it would be labeled in pink and everything that is essential for people in it would be labeled in blue so in this way you can create multiple different types of labels and you can check out labels like this and the best part about using trello is that you actually can add multiple different labels to one task so let's say this is a regular task and it's related to marketing and i can put in these two labels so people that are in that particular area of our business can know that this task might be related to them now as a task is in progress i can move it in the in progress bar and then i can finally move it into our completed list you can add that list over here and just like that you will have some amazing easy to use trello boards ready now one other thing about trello is that it also has different automations that you can integrate however most of their power-ups are for premium users however there are some amazing power-ups you can use for free as well such as slack and two-way mirroring as well as some other power-ups such as google drive links and more and on the right panel you can go on ahead and make a template from your basic board as well as well as build some automations and custom fields to further help in making sure everything remains categorized in your trello board so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe